Jason Lula meant that he was rendered ineligible under the law to run, and that's what paved the way, ultimately, for Jair Bolsonaro's ascension to control over Brazil, which is the fifth most populous country in the world with massive oil reserves and the most important environmental resource on the planet, which is the Amazon, all of which is now in the hands of Jair Bolsonaro. This was done by a task force of prosecutors and a judge, Sergio Moro, <clears throat> who have basically been turned into superheroes, into deities um, by the Brazilian press and by the world press. Um, Sergio Moro was <clears throat> heralded around the world as uh, some great figure. He was named to the Time 100 uh, list in 2016 and went to the gala in New York. He was had a huge profile on him on 60 Minutes that was a puff piece basically turning him into this noble anti-corruption figure. And there's been almost no questioning of anything that they've done, even though they've been using highly questionable practices. Here in Brazil, there has been a long time suspicion that they, in fact, were abusing their powers for political ends, that what they really were were right-wing ideologues and operatives who were abusing the law to destroy the Workers' Party, one of the only left-wing parties in the entire democratic world that has dominated politics in a major country and has succeeded in anti-poverty programs in order to usher in the pro-right faction into power, that they were abusing the law to basically put the leaders in prison to destroy the party.